So we have a tempest Chair. in a teapot here. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I know we don't have a tempest well, in a teapot. I just it want depends to... on, I suppose, on which teapot you perceive yourself oh, well, in. Oh, right. You know, from my point of view, that was a political document. All the noise that's been taking place yeah. has been uh, not pursuing substance, but pursuing political ends. Yes. Electoral ends, more specifically. Now, I don't want to get involved in that. I generally try to stay away from that stuff. You know, I focus on what's budget committee stuff for the budget committee. I don't care about your campaign for selectmen. I, have I don't care about other people's campaign against Mary Louise for selectmen. All right? It's all interesting noise when I'm in the mood for noise. But when I come to a budget committee meeting, although I ought to be prepared for noise, I still don't want to hear noise. <laughs> and that's too much noise again. And I just like this, this thing to be over with. What we can learn that is not noise and is substantive from this entire exercise is that while the budget committee is an independently elected body, and the planning board is an independently elected body, and the zoning board of adjustment is an independently elected body, et cetera, which conveys to the average voter that we are independent bodies, yet this recent experience clearly tells us that we do not have independent control of the resources we need to do our job. Yeah. And can any body be truly considered to be independent when it does not have independent control of the resources it needs to do its job? When it must go to another body and say, may I please, in order to have resources that it perceives it needs, can you really expect anyone to believe that we are truly independent? Yeah, we may be elected independently, but it would appear we are subservient in terms of gaining any necessary resources to do our job. And really, that either needs to be addressed or the voters simply should accept the fact that we're not independent. Neither is the planning board, neither is the zoning board of adjustment, nor anyone else that has to go say, may I please, to another body to get the resources it needs to do its job. And that's the only substance that I have derived out of the last couple months on this topic. Everything else has been a bunch of noise.